Hello guys, now quickly before this video starts, I just wanted to say that I'm opening up another channel. Yes, I'm opening up another channel, and it's going to be revolved around gaming. So if you enjoy watching games like Happy Wheels, The Escapist, Undertale, Stanley Parable, little games like that, please uh, check out the link in the description below. Go subscribe to that channel, watch all its content, and leave likes, because it really does help me. And also, if whatever I'm doing wrong, whatever you don't like in my videos, please tell me in the comments below. That's what they exist for, for feedback. So yeah, that's all I had to say. Thank you guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my uh, channel. I was going to say Cancerous channel, but now that you guys are here, my channel's getting pretty good. You want to know what makes this channel good? You guys. That's right. <clears throat> So today, this story is going to be again a little bit different, and this has also happened last year in ninth grade. So, this has been uh, the time when I just discovered what Bloods and Crips were. Now, what if you do not know what they are? They're basically gangs or something like that. Well, that's actually what they are, not something like that. And they're just horrible people. But yeah, th that last year was just when I figured out exactly what they were, and it was really, really cancerous. So what I figured out is, well, some part of my school was, like, the entire section was wearing red, the other section was wearing blue, and I'm like, um, okay, wow, these people sure like those colors, and I did not know anything about, so, and then of course they were doing, like, these hand symbols and whatever, it was really awkward, like, these weird hand symbols, they looked like they wanted to rip their fingers off, they looked like they didn't have any bones in their fingers, it, it was disgusting. And then, of course, I'm like, hey, you know what, uh, I really don't like the color blue, but I do like the color red, so the next day, I decided to wear a bandana out of my pocket, and it was a red bandana. And I didn't know what bloods were at all, I just, I, uh, no one told me anything, I didn't even know what that word was. I didn't, I've never even heard that word, so I'm wearing, next day, I'm wearing a bandana out of my pocket, and I'm in PE, right? So I'm just sitting in PE. Well, not sitting, but I'm just walking around the track because what we used to do there is we used to walk around the football field for an hour and then we went home, right? And then immediately afterwards, as soon as I went back into the locker room, a bunch of guys uh, dressed in blue started surrounding me and like, hey, you blood, you blood, all and stuff like that. And I'm like, uh, what are you talking about? And then some dude dressed, uh, well, he had a red shirt and like black pants, and he comes up to me. He only had one arm. I'm not joking. He legit had one arm. And he just comes up to me, and I'm just expecting to talk, and he gets in my face, right? And then he's like, I'm a crib. And I'm like, oh, what? And, he, and he's like, yeah, that's right. You heard me. And I'm like, I don't know what you... And then immediately before I could finish my sentence, he smacks me across the face, and like this little fight begins. And then ten minutes later, well, we're just beating the crap out of each other, mostly me taking the hits because I legit didn't even know what happened. And every single time I try to turn around and receive a fist to the face, I'm trying to dodge everything. Uh, blood knocking out of my nose. And so the teacher comes and just uh, helps us out. Just stops us there. And that's how that day went. The next day, well, of course, for the rest of the day then, uh, people were like, hey, uh, just continuing to say, hey, there was a fight there because this, this, and that. There was a, there was a, a blood in the crib fight and whatever. And I'm like, oh, what's that? And then... Immediately then, I was sent to the, well, after school, of course, after I told my mom and everything, because I had bruises all over my face, and my mom was like, hey, what happened, what happened? And I'm like, hey, yeah, I got in a fight because of this something called Bloods or Crips or something like that, I forgot. And then she gets me to the school, and then this whole thing happens, and then uh, told everything, right? And then he's like, oh, you should have told me. The next day, in PE, I'm not wearing anything, I'm like, okay, so, nice. So there's a thing called Bloods and Crips, right? And then immediately, what happens next is that fight starts again. I'm just over there, and my name is Artem, right? So uh, that's not going to be important, but just listen up. And so the guy just, I'm just in my, what's it called, next to my locker, just doing whatever I can. Had my laptop in my backpack, backpack whatever, right? The next thing, there's a circle forming around us. Out of nowhere, there's a giant circle, and everyone has left. All my friends have left. And this circle is starting to form around us, around me specifically. And then this one-armed dude, let's just call him, I don't know, uh, let's just not call him anything, let's just call him that one-armed dude. Uh, 
So that one armed dude just comes up to me and he's like, hey Artem. And I'm like, hey. right before I could say, hey, he smacks me across the face again. And then this whole fight starts. And we're just pinning each other against the wall and punching him in the stomach. And right when he stopped fighting, I just started punching him repeatedly, like spamming him in the neck. And then he just tackles me against the wall. It was really intense. He uh, starts punching me. And because I didn't know what to do, I could have easily kneed him in the face. But instead, what I did is I started punching the side of his head. And I didn't kick at all. All I did was punch like a little maniac. And I missed like 90% of my punches. And then immediately afterwards, I grabbed that little arm of his. And I bent it the other way. And then I punched him across the face. And then he still just uh, sort of revived and then I punched him in the face again, then he started punching me in the face, then uh, he just tackled me against the wall again. It, it was pretty intense. And then about, I don't know, 10 minutes later or so, teacher comes and sends us both to the office. And then teacher's like, what happened? And I'm like, uh, this, this, and that. And then they just take this guy, and then uh, they question him, and then the principal calls me in, and he's like, okay, what happened? And I'm like, there's this fight because there's this thing called Bloods or Crips or something like that. I don't know, I think it's something dealing with the red rag, and then he's like, okay, Bloods and Crips are gangs, and then that's when I'm like, oh crap, I'm in really, really deep shite. And that's what I was thinking, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm being involved, uh, uh what? And then he's like, okay, this, this, and that, and then the guy's like, um, he has, he's been fighting me, he's been walking around telling everyone he's a blood, and I didn't say a word, I didn't even know what that was, and then the guy, and then the principal's like, okay, so, is this true? And I'm like, no, this is the first time I hear what Bloods and Crips are. And then the dude's like, yeah, you're lying, you know you're lying. And then we're just sitting there, we're sitting outside the office, and then this guy's fat-ass father walks in the room. Legit, I'm not talking fat, I'm talking about, okay, think of Shane Dawson back in high school years, right? Now multiply it times three, that's how fat the guy was. In fact, I, I thought that I could just roll him on the ground. Like, I'm surprised that dude was even walking. But then immediately what happens is he takes him home. And then, of course, my mom sees me come home with more bruises on my face. And she's like, that's it. I'm pressing charges. And I'm like, Mom, what? And then she pressed charges against the guy. And the guy's in juvie now. But this whole thing happened. And that's how I learned what Bloods and Crips were. And I've never been wearing only red or blue rags ever again in my life. In fact, I threw them away. I threw those bandanas away, not even joking. I wanted to burn it, in fact, not just throw it away. But all I did was just throw it away. I know I'm spamming you with that word, that's not a good sign. But yeah, that's, uh, that's that. And that's the end of this video. If you liked it, leave a like. And if you like this content, please subscribe. And I'm running out of things to talk about, so please leave in the comments below what else do you want to hear about. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Uh, Twitter and Tumblr. Yes, I'm not going to be using Facebook anymore because not too many people like it. No one follows me on there. Just Twitter has decent enough and Instagram. Mostly Instagram. I, I don't really like the other sites. They're a bit boring. So I guess Instagram is just for me. So I'm 100% going to reply if you're there. But seriously, I do hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please subscribe for more. Uh, don't forget to check out my gaming channel. I'm going to have to mention that in the beginning of the video. And I hope to see you all in another video. Peace out.